Hello there everybody, I am Swifty and this is of course Pokemon Leaf Green. We are in the Indigo Plateau, preparing to face off against the Elite Four, which is just through that door. And, um, I'm gonna show you my Pokemon right now. Oh my god, I know everybody is level 60, apart from Miyagi and Haruhi. Um, everybody's relatively level 60. I mean, I know Swifty's le Swifty is level 63, but that is purely because I've done a ton of off-screen training. As you can see, my playtime on this game is 45 hours, nearly 46 hours. Let me show you my Pokemon, though, because some of them will learn some new moves. Um, so let's take a look at Haruhi first. Um, no new moves there. Um, Crafty learned Earthquake, which is brilliant. Um, Flamer, I taught Overheat. I gave... Oh, um, Indy learned Poison Fang. Um, I taught Swifty Blizzard, you'll see why when we get into the Elite Four. And I taught Miyagi Earthquake as well, and that's pretty much it. Um, one of these Pokemon has an item on, I think it's Flamer. Um, yep, Flamer has the EXP share, and I want to give an item to S Flamer, just in case of stuff. Um, the only one I know, give you the black glasses. And that's it. So guys, without a favor ado, let's head off to the Elite Four. Okay, so this is the first of the Elite Four. Let's let's have a little chat with him, her, whatever. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are Frozen solid. <laughs> Yo, are you ready? I don't know why Lorelei sounds like some devilish villain. She just does. So, here we have it. The Ice Specialist of the Elite Four, Lorelei. She's going to lead off with a Dugong. And basically, Harry can pretty much obliterate this um, Elite Four member. I'm going to lead off with a Shockwave because that's just an epic move. Um, look at that. Well over half. It's gonna take two hits to destroy this dugong. Um, Surf isn't gonna do too much. No, not really. One, one, one is the amount of subscribers I have at recording this. So there's a little Swifty trivia fact for you. And when you're watching this, when I have two billion subscribers, you'll know. Back in the day, I only had 111 subscribers. So guys, ton of experience that gets me up to level 60. And just Miyagi slacking off, slacking off behind. So. Next, she's gonna send out her Cloyster. I'm not gonna switch Pokemon actually, because Harry, he, I think, can probably take this out in one hit. I'm hoping it's only a level 51, unless it goes for Protect and gets the Protect hacks, because Protect just sucks. Your stupid Cloyster. Um, but you're gonna, you're gonna see why. You're just delaying the inevitable. Oh my God. You Shockwave, but it doesn't hit. I know, dude. Let's use Shockwave. There we go. Hopefully this will kill it in one hit. I'm really hoping so. Um, yeah, should do. Yes, there we go. Brilliant. Um, I did some uber training. Um, spent a good couple hours just training my Pokemon up, getting them all up to about level 60 um, for this Elite Four challenge, because it's pretty tough and you do need your Pokemon, uh, especially mine, um, to be about this level. And I'm sure it'll be great. Here is a Slowbro, which can be an absolute pain, especially against my team, because I've got nothing. If Haruhi fainted, then I'd have pretty much nothing. That Amnesia can be pretty annoying as well, simply due to the fact that it raises its special defense, and if it gets one of them up before Haruhi has a chance to attack, then it's pretty much game over, and I'm not going to be able to do a single thing to this Slowbro. Um, but nevertheless, it's dead right about now, which is great. Um, Again, 1827 Elite 4 Larley is about to use Lapras, which can also be a pain because it knows Body Slam. I'm actually going to send Miyagi out for this Lapras because it is Ice, and as you know, Ice is weak to fighting as well. Ice is weak to quite a lot. Miyagi is nearly level 59, so here's Lapras. We're going to high jump kick. Yeah, hopefully I'll hit. Yes, of course I hit, and that'll get it to about yellow health or red health, which means it's going to activate its Citrus Berry because. Lapras has a Citrus Berry. I'm hoping not for the Parahax here. Um, 
but yeah, there's its citrus berry, which will get it to yellow health, which means it will not use its um, hyper potion or full restore, whatever, which means I can just kill it in one, which is brilliant. And Miyagi should level up for that. I'm hoping he does. Um, two, yeah, yeah, easily with a hundred hundred HP now. That's just brilliant. You're gonna use Jinx, yes, and I'm gonna send Flamer out for this. Because Flamer just annihilates Jinx, believe me. Flamer's just so pro and epic. Uh, doo -doo -doo, Laurel Ace. Now Jinx! Hello Jinx, you purple beast. I'm gonna use Overheat, because that's why I taught it, so I could use it. And that is a beast of a move. Look at all the- it kills it in one hit. Ah, and I only get my special attack lower- harshly lowered though. But anyway, I'm a, if I'm gonna use Overheat, then I'm gonna use it just the once. So ton of experience from that Jinx, defeated Larley. Things shouldn't be this way. Kinda got a ton of money. Yes, money, money, money. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. So, let's head on up to this person. And we're actually gonna switch my Pokemon. I'm gonna give Crafty the spotlight um, against Bruno. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon, and that will never change. Ka! We will grind you down. I don't know why he's gone Chinese. With our superior power. Hoo ha! He just went Chinese towards the end there. <laughs> I don't know why. I just realized it, and I was like, oh my god, shut up. Shut up, Connor. Just shut up. So this is Bruno of the Elite Four, and he's gonna lead with an Onyx, which is why we led with Crafty, because Crafty knows an epic Earthquake move, which should take it out in one hit, I'm hoping. Do -do -do, it's super effective, obviously, and yes! Brilliant! Um, Bruno should lead off with his second Onyx now, because Onyx is just so pro for Bruno. Um, yep, second Onyx, and I'm gonna keep Crafty out. This one's a bit of a higher level, I think it's level 54. Um, yes, level 54, I'm bang on my money there. Earthquake probably won't kill this one, but it'll definitely be a 2-hit KO, and it'll probably use a full restore next turn as well. I was hoping for a critical hit secretly then. Um, I think probably the last of the... Not, may, maybe not, maybe not the last of the Elite Four, it depends on how my luck turned out. But I think the next person who's Agatha, I think she's called, the Ghost Leader, the Ghost Elite Four person, I think she's going to give me the most trouble. Because I don't really have psychic moves or bug moves or anything that can really go against ghost Pokemon. Which is a bit of a pain, really. I'm going to use Aerial Ace here because I'm just ballsy and whatnot. And it kills it, obviously. It's not very effective, but it did the treat. Onyx is dead. Crafty gained a ton of experience, not enough to level up, but I'm not really too bothered about levels. Yes, we're going to switch out. I'm going to go into Indy because Indy is so prosif. And it knows Wing Attack, which is just beautiful for Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, and Machamp, which are his last free Pokemon. This Hitmonchan is probably going to give me the most trouble because it's just uber and whatnot. Um, it's going to use Rock Tomb, which will lower my speed and is super effective, which isn't good. Although, I'm saying it's super effective, it did literally not much at all. Though it did lower my speed, which can be a bit of an issue. Um, it's going to use Mac Punch, or Mach Punch as nobody says, but Wing Attack will destroy you, Hitmonchan. You have been annihilated. And his next Pokemon is probably Machamp, actually, because Machamp is amazing. Who did you train? Who did you trade with to get Machamp? I didn't know you could trade here, right about now. I know. I mean, I know you can trade, but I didn't think Elite Four people could trade. Um, and plus, you, oh, oh, you stupid Machamp survive that. No, I'm not really surprised. You're gonna use bulk up? Seriously, Machamp, that means I'm gonna have to use two more wing attacks on you. Let's have a look at my new move, because I don't- Oh, you're gonna use a Citrus Berry. I didn't know you had that on you, which is just brilliant. Let's check out my new Poison Fang, because it looks amazing. It has a chance to toxic them. There you go. He's badly poisoned, which is just awesome, which is just exactly what I want. He's gonna use Scary Face, which really does lower my speed, and I'm definitely the slowest Pokemon on the field right about now, if you know what I'm saying. Neither do I, if I'm totally honest with you. 
Um, you're gonna be hurt by his poison, that toxic will build up and it'll eventually kill him unless he uses a four star. But this wing attack will. No, uh, maybe not anymore. But I was gonna say, will definitely kill him. Though I doubt it now because he's just stupid, Machamp, using another bulk up. He's trying to resist me. Although poison might just wipe him out, I'm not sure if it will. Let's see, hoping on. Ugh! You stupid Machamp. You're gonna give me a lot of trouble, aren't you, Machamp? You serious. Idiot. Um. So restored health. Gonna go for another wing attack. Look at how little that does after two bulk ups. Considering it's super effective, it does very little. So we're gonna lead off with a confused ray. He's gonna bulk up again. This is exactly what I want the confused ray, so he can do a lot of damage to himself. Um. He's just a bulky machamp, isn't he? Confused ray hits. Um. Which is brilliant. If I do say so myself, which I do because I said it myself, obviously. And I'm gonna. Try and get the poison on him. If I don't get it on this turn, then I'm not gonna try again. But Cross Chop will kill me. Or not, it's not very effective. I should have known that. If I'm honest, Poison Fang will destroy you, but it didn't poison you, which is a bit of a shame. The chap is Confuse, because he's an idiot, obviously. And Wing Attack will get you down to almost killing you. I'm hoping you hit yourself this turn, or you could just snap out of confusion, you know, whatever suits, whatever floats your boat, Machamp. But Rock Tomb should kill me, and it does kill me. Brilliant. So Indy's dead, which is beautiful. Let's leave, let's send Swifty out, because Swifty is a beast and such. And we're just gonna use Surf, because Surf is the best move in the world ever. Ever. Like, totally. Totes. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm saying. 2, 3, 1, 6 experience. And you're gonna use a Hitmon Lee. I forgot about your Hitmon Lee. Stupid Hitmon Lee. And we're gonna send Crafty out there because Crafty, believe it or not, knows Aerial Ace. And um, Hitmon Lee has pretty low um, physical defense, which makes it a prime target for a nice Aerial Ace or a beautiful wing attack. I mean, look at that. You barely stood a chance, you stupid Hitmon Lee. Although, saying that, Himonli is amazing because I have one on my team known as Miyagi, although my Miyagi is just much better than yours. Aerial Ace will always hit you no matter what, and that should get crafted up to level 60 or Wahan with the greatest of ease. Um, 1, 5, 7, 8, which is just perfect for crafty. Ton of experience, ton of stats. Everything is all good, Bruno. Why? How could I lose? He's a Chinese caveman. You gonna say anything? My job is done. Go face your next challenge. Okay, Bruno. We will do. We'll go face our next challenge. We will face our next challenge in the next episode, guys. So, yes. We're gonna take on the remaining two Elite Four members in the next episode. Because I love cliffhangers and such. So, if you like the video, be sure to make, leave me a like. If you like me that much, be sure to subscribe up there. Like down there. Until next time, guys. Oh, goodbye.